So hi! Uh, it's been not very long since the last video, but I have some very... That was a weird noise, I don't remember that being there. We have some very, very important information. Uh, in between videos, I decided to watch some Dream Team videos, to watch some Dream SMP videos, I'm a little more caught up on, you know, what these guys are like, but <laughs> this has also led me to a very, very, very hard decision. Do you see this boy? This man over here? This one right here? Mr. Sapnap himself? Yeah, he needs to die because me and him, we're too similar. Okay, it's weird. It's scary. I don't like it. So we're gonna try and kill him today and hopefully the snap nap ship will sink in like fiery destruction because I just can't deal with this. 8.59 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've done all this already. I am snappy. We are going to wander around and follow him. So let's see what he says when I say, I would rather live in a video game for the rest of my life. Nothing was exciting in the real world anyway. You were even able to meet your favorite people because of this world too. Why bother leaving? Hmm. Your response clearly intrigued him. Well, I've always wanted to see the impact of a creeper explosion up close. Yeah. You're gonna break your bones. You're gonna get injured. You're gonna burn down a different village too? I knew we shouldn't have trusted you with fire! We're already starting off great here. He wickedly grins at you as he takes your hand, leading you down the path even quicker as walking turned into jogging. As you reach the end, the biome turning from a grassy field to one of a jungle, the both of you had spotted a ruined nether portal, and we've seen this. Okay, we're going to defend Sapnap. Because if he's going to die, he is going to die because of me. <laughs> and we have also seen this. Let's awkwardly talk about biomes because Sapnap can't talk about anything like a normal person except for burning things down and carnage. But I mean like same. So favorite biome, let's see what he says when we say the nether. Seeing the bright orange biome makes you a bit nervy, but it also makes you bristle with excitement. With mobs contrasting from the overworld, you'd appreciate a slightly challenging setting. Sapnap seems to beam at this. The nether is so cool, I totally agree. It isn't that hard, but it isn't that easy either. A perfect balance. You agree. It gives you the thrill that's just right. Sapnap gives you a chuckle. Once we're out, let's have a race. First to find the fortress wins. Not being one who'd back down from a challenge, you accepted the offer. Alright, so I believe his question was, what are we expecting to get out of this? And, uh, we'll say the experience would be useful. Which I don't know why it would be, but apparently it would be. It wasn't as if you enjoyed the idea of being stuck in some sort of virtual reality. But sometimes you like to look on the brighter side of things. Besides, this could come in handy for future situations, with it exercising your patience and all. 
I, yeah, you probably have to be very patient around the dream team. Sapnap seemed to be in thought. Don't. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. As much as I love Minecraft and all, being stuck here sucks. I just want to go back home and be in my bed. Stay on call with the other two. Look at him. Look at the pretty bastard. So pretty. But you're right. Maybe I should just think more positively about this, rather than to think against it the entire time we'll be here. You agreed. You can't stay upset forever, or else you wouldn't reach a clearer solution. You received a calmer look from the brunette. He continues to toss his flint and steel up one more time, until you both turn towards the sound of footsteps that were arriving at your area. And we are going to assist Sapnap. As we have already seen. So last time, he got a little bit too close here. We had to shove him away. We'll see if we can not cause something like that this time. So was it scary? I wasn't scared at all. It wasn't that hard nor scary. You'd rather have something way more challenging. Sapnap looks at you befuddled. Does nothing ever scare you? Fun fact! No! <laughs> but let's not get into that right now. You simply shrugged. He scoffed at your reply. Everyone stopped walking when Dream halted in his tracks. Okay, so we just- we gotta make him scared of us, I think, if we're gonna kill him. So maybe we'll get a neutral ending here? It's down here. All right, so last time we made things very awkward and Sapnap was like, well, that could have gone better. And yeah, it could have, but did you really have to say it? Uh, we'll say I like you too. Sapnap looks at you with wide eyes, his face flushed. Huh. And then his face breaks out into a grin. That's cool. That's really, really cool. It seems that he was rendered quite speechless, as he was reduced to only a goofy smile on his face. He stands up and gives you a hug. No hugs! Surprised, you slowly hugged him back. After a bit, you both pull away from each other. Sapnap's face was flushed, but his smile was still permanent. Sapnap then steps away and stretches his arms out. Let's head back, yeah? No, let's not head back. Give us some words of encouragement. Okay, so I think we got the romantic ending again? That was kind of pointless. Let's try again, shall we? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Let's say we want to go on a walk on the beach. Just have a nice time with the sand. No Anakins in sight. You realize you've been in front of the computer so much lately that you haven't appreciated the outside world as much as you should have. Maybe being aware that you might get stuck in here helped remind you of that. 
Okay, apparently that was the good choice. <laughs> huh. I guess I've gotten used to people telling me they'd rather stay online all the time. Maybe, once we get out, you'd like some company on your walk? A romantic stroll down the beach, if you will, at moonlight. You let out a teasing hum, not particularly taking up his offer, but not flat out rejecting it either. You let out a tiny giggle when you see the tiniest pout form on the brunette's face. The pout quickly forms into a smile, though. He gently grabs a hold of your hand as he led the both of you down the path, again with the hand holding before marriage. So let's say that we like the plains or desert biomes. You like the calmer, surface level biomes. Although it would be covered with mobs in the night, you're still able to adapt and find new ways to advance until dawn. This piques Sapnap's interest. <sighs> Why is he so pretty? <laughs> huh. Well, you know what they say. Opposites attract. Sapnap, we are the same person! We are not opposites! He teasingly says this, and you let out an amused huff in return. He laughs at this. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're cool, Snappy. Normally I'd like to go to riskier areas, but yeah, I like to relax from time to time too. I should try learning a thing or two from you. You simply smiled at him. You knew he'd like something more of a challenge, but hearing him appreciate what you preferred was nice. Uh. I'm trying to make him hate me and he just keeps falling for me. Like, what is up with that? Okay, so let's try and say something other than normal, because I don't remember if we've done all of these or not. There were millions of things to try out here in this universe. You couldn't wait to try it. It was better than real life, you thought. Sapnap looks at you in bewilderment. Why? <laughs> You'd really want to stay in here? Like, forever? Your glance drifts off to the side. You didn't exactly mean forever, but you wouldn't mind just existing here either. Sapnap had his eyebrows furrowed slightly. He seemed to be upset at this. Well, since I think we're already going to be getting another romantic, we'll just say yeah, it was. You're cool too, Sapnap. Sapnap lets out a soft giggle. I'm glad we're on the same page then. That's it. <laughs> okay. He reaches over and ruffles your hair playfully, to which you swatted his hand at. He lets out a chuckle. That's it, I guess! What a choice. And we get the romantic ending again! Are we gonna get anything else here? So we're gonna say, I'd rather stay here. 
Nothing was exciting in the real world anyway. You were even able to meet your favorite people because of this world. And you know the rest. I like the end, Sapnap, you know? It's really terrifying over there. What's something other than normal? Were you scared? Because I wasn't scared. I never get scared. I guess you're cool. Alright, here we go. I think we got him killed. You heard the noise of a hit. You didn't feel any pain. You opened your eyes and saw... Sapnap. His face full of determination had slowly morphed into a duller expression as he took the hit from the dragon for you. The remaining heart began to fade out the moment you had glanced up at his health bar. He fell forward, different parts of his body beginning to flicker and glitch out as you caught him. He's slowly disappearing into the tiniest bits of particles. No, 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 no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> his body felt so cold. Your hands were frantic. You couldn't do anything but hold him. Sapnap, no! George screamed as he sent his final arrow flying towards the dragon. It lets out a screech as it levitates up, light protruding its body as it slowly disintegrates into specks of particles and EXP points. Oh god, Dream's crying! Oh no! Right after, Dream had immediately skidded towards you two. He holds one of Sapnap's hands in his tightly. Hey, buddy, stay with us. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. We're right here, pandas. Sapnap shakily looks towards Dream. Dream? Dream, I'm scared. Dream hushes him as George makes his way to you guys. His eyes were full of tears, and he had the look of distraught. He kneels down next to you and Sapnap. George, please don't go. George grabs a hold of his other hand, sobbing into the back of it as he brought it up to his face. Your heart hurts at the sight of all three of them, broken and crying their hearts out. Sapnap then looks to you, his voice barely above a whisper. Snappy, will you please do me a favor? You were about to respond when he gave out a dry huff of laughter. Of course you can. You're really reliable, Snappy, and I admire that aspect of yours. Might I add brave to that list, too? He sends you a pained smile, his body beginning to dematerialize into tiny specks of pixels. Watch over them for me, okay? Before you could even accept his request, the echoes of his quiet giggles ring out one last time before the weight in your arms disappeared altogether. George lets out a loud wail as Dream covered his mouth to control his sobbing. 
You sat there, motionless, and unable to properly comprehend what had just happened. He's gone, but it feels so bad. <laughs> you feel numb, but you also began to shed your own share of tears. All three of you had stayed there a bit longer, allowing yourselves to grieve for a while longer. After a few moments, Dream took a shaky stance up whilst wiping the tears away from his face. He reaches out to both you and George to help you both up to your feet. Come on. We have to go. He keeps his grip on both of your sleeves and George's as he leads all three of you to the exit portal. It was silent as he pulls the both of you into the vortex. You woke up on your bedroom floor, clutching at your throbbing head. It seemed that you had fallen over your chair. You hear your phone buzzing from your desk. Groaning, you crawled over to check what your notifications were going off for. For the first few spams, it had been from your friends as you were apparently late for your Hypixel game together with them. The most recent one was... George Not Found went live, fixing my chair. Huh. You tapped on the notification and tuned into the stream. Well... <laughs> George lets out a confused huff of laughter. You found it funny that this was what you first hear the moment you join the stream. What? <laughs> no, will you please reconsider? Come on, George. It's a funny video. You then heard the British male scoff lightheartedly at the younger male's antics. You're so weird. Come on, restart your Minecraft launcher. I've fixed my chair the best I can. Let's work on the code again right now, yeah? Maybe even teach chat a thing or two. Alright, sure. Give me a sec. You smiled. Their streams together were always so fun to watch. Especially the times where they start to begin being competitive with each other to the point of screaming and leaving calls as a joke. All of a sudden... You feel like something was missing. You glanced down at the charm you had connected to your phone. Your friend had given it to you as a birthday present. It was a panda. And then you remembered. Oh yeah! Your Hypixel game. You should really get back online. Well... <laughs> You're telling me I killed Sapnap and I didn't even get to join the dream team in his place? What a ripoff. Alright, so we're going to try and get the neutral ending real quick and then head off, I think. So let us do that. What if I just... Hi there, Sapnap! I'm Sapnap! <laughs> oh, God. You heard the noise of a hit. You didn't feel any pain. You opened your eyes and saw... Sapnap, who wielded his axe and managed to land the last hit at the dragon that had been only one hit away. The dragon screeches as it levitates up. I have to read this line so many times. And right then, a sound effect echoes from Sapnap himself. Sapnap has made the advancement. Free the end. Everything was silent before all three of them began to whoop loudly. Sapnap! Oh my god! You did it, brother! They both hoisted the younger male onto each of their shoulders as they continued to holler and celebrate. And then, of course, Sapnap joined in on making the loudest noises he could pull off, 
from screaming to chanting out yeah multiple times and in beat with the other two. Hey wait, I just realized, is my name still Sapnap in this one? I guess we'll find out. After a whole while of being stunned, you let out your share of giggles. The boys turned around as they heard you laugh. Their faces softened as they lowered the younger male down, approaching you. Dream and George helped you up to your feet, while Sapnap picks up the golden apple you dropped. He passes it to you, in which you fumbled catching. He simply chuckles at you as he ruffles your hair. It's becoming a habit for him, you thought. An irritating habit. Don't touch my hair. My name is still Sapnap. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just, uh, you know, don't go risking your life like that ever again, okay, Snappy? Bashfully, you listened to his words, but also shoved his hand away playfully. As you had that exchange with the Texan, Dream had been comedically dancing around George while whooping in excitement. You both looked at the two who were fooling around with content smiles on your faces. You let out a small huff of laughter as you all made your way to the middle, the exit portal. Dream threw an arm around George, eliciting a noise of complaint from the shorter male as he ended up being practically dragged around by the younger male. As you all stepped close to the structure, you looked down. Anxiety swirls around in your stomach as you peered through the dark, swirling vortex. Safnap takes notice of this and nudges your arm. Hey, we'll all go home once we jump in. I'm sure of that. You can't chicken out now, right? You can hear the faintest hint of teasing in his tone he used in his last line. And that brought a smile on your face. You're a brave person. You know that yourself. And Sapnap had taken notice of that aspect about you, too. You nodded, trying to shake the nerves off. Dream then looked at each of you. On three? Everyone grinned at him. One. Two. Three! Sapnap and Sapnap. Why did I do that? You woke up on your bedroom floor, clutching at your throbbing head. It seemed that you had fallen over your chair. You hear your phone buzzing from your desk. Groaning, you crawled over to check what your notifications were going off for. For the first few spams, it had been your friends as you were apparently late for your high pixel game together with them. The most recent one was... Sapnap went live. Chair got wrecked, lol. Sapnap. Minecraft. The Realm. You quickly pressed on the notification, the stream's audio booming out of your phone's speakers. Ha ha, sure, chat. You guys really think you're so funny. At least my chair broke. Most of you probably are. Which is why those other people who aren't should gift more subs while I fix my chair. You laughed at the curt reply that came from the mail. That is definitely your sapnap. You decided to send in a dono, thinking that hopefully it'll catch his attention. You can hear loud shuffling from the stream's audio. Okay, who thought it was funny to just dono me? Hey, snap map. Who decided that they have the greatest sense of humor? He cuts himself off. Zapnap? I mean, Snappy? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Snappy? DM me. DM me on Twitter. Right now. Scrambling towards the Twitter app and turning the stream's video into a picture-in-picture -picture at the bottom corner of your screen, you try your best to send him a message as quick as you could. You were aware of how quick the fanbase could steal an identity, after all. You know, I'm just sitting here having stolen Sapnap's identity. You sent him a message. Sapnap! It's me! Do you remember everything? 
The Minecraft realm, the hallway, the ender dragon... You waited anxiously for an answer when you hear the telltale sound of someone joining TeamSpeak. Sap nap! Wait, hold on guys, shut up! What do you mean, shut up? It's snappy! Oh my god, Sapnap, mute your audio now, you moron! And then radio silence followed right after. The only thing being presented in the stream was someone's fan art of his character. You looked at your Twitter DMs when your phone buzzed. Snappy! Is it really you? You were about to think of all the things you could remember from the digital realm when you received another message. Actually, no, don't answer that. That was so dumb, you already told me about the hallway and stuff. You chuckled at his reaction. Do you want to, like, hang out later? Like, VC with everyone else? We can make a video if you're cool with that? Yeah, just bring on a totally random stranger onto the stream. That'll go over well. You raise your eyebrows in surprise. A video? With you? You began to type your response away. I'm cool with it. I can't wait to talk to you guys even more. Cool. Cool. That's Pog. Smiley face. Very Pog. You giggled to yourself as you clutch your phone close to your chest. You can't wait to record a video with them. Platonic ending. Minecraft, but your connections are shared. Well, that took way too long for me to get, but we got all of Sapnap's endings and all of George's endings. So I believe in the next videos, maybe just one, probably two, we will finally be going after Mr. Dream himself. So that should be very interesting. But yeah, I will see you all next time. So I have some, um, sad news, some unfortunate news here. I tried all that I could to unlock Dream's routes, and I couldn't. You know, I, I played through each ending twice, I quit the game after each ending, I tried uninstalling it and reinstalling it. And I still couldn't get it for some reason. Which is fine. I mean, it's it's the developer's first game. You know, I, I definitely didn't expect it to be perfect. But I'm not giving up on this game. Someday, I will come back to it because the universe is trying to keep me away from Dream, I think. <laughs> and I will not let it. But, um, aside from that, I just wanted to say that the game was really fun. It was a good visual novel. Really good. Um, I really enjoyed the routes. Also, like, the art style is just gorgeous. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. Uh, not gonna lie, when I was, you know, scrolling through trying to find a game to practice recording with, I was not expecting something like this to pop up. But the art style was what really drew me in. So, you know, props to the artist. And just... This game got me into a new fandom, okay? It got me interested in the Dream Team and the Dream SMP. So, Keo, good job on that. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. And Keo, if you ever decide to make any games in the future, I would love to play them because this was really good. And I really enjoyed it. So until next time, this is Snappy saying adieu, adios, signing off. I have no outro yet, but you know what?
do I really need one? I don't know. Hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.